Welcome to Molecular Forecaster Tutorials on Covalent Docking. In this video, you will learn how to dock a small molecule into a protein using this workflow, and we will use a catepsin protein to which a ligand is covalently bound as an example to run a self-docking calculation. To begin, you can select your working directory by clicking on Browse, and now you are ready to start forecasting. So the first thing we're going to do is type in the PDB code of the protein with which we're going to be working on, uh, so 5MAJ, and click on Download PDB. Next we can exclude matchup, uh, since we're going to be working with a single protein. Uh, and same thing goes for convert, since we're going to be doing a self-docking study, which means that we will take the ligand that is currently in the protein, take it out, and then dock back into the active site. Therefore, we can skip these preparatory steps. Next, we're going to go through the different parts of the workflow and make sure that all the parameters are adjusted to what we need. Let's start with prepare. You can click on the cog to open a new window, which lists all the parameters that have to do with this part of the calculation. So here we can leave everything by default, but we will need to fill in the ligand identifier field. To do this, you can click on the load PDB structure button which will open a new window where you see the ligand protein complex. What we need to do here is change the hybridization of this nitrile group that is currently an SP2 hybridization uh, because it is now bound to the uh, protein. But we need to revert the uh, molecule back to its unbound form, therefore we need to force an SP hybridization to the nitrogen and the carbon. To do this, we need to select uh, the nitrogen then click on Forecaster and force SP hybridization. Now you see at the bottom of the screen we have this information recorded. We can now repeat the same step for the carbon. which will add this information at the bottom right uh, corner. And the last thing that we need to do is select which uh, ligand the program will be working with. So for this we can pick any atom on our ligand molecule, then click on Forecaster and select Ligand Residues. See this appears now at the bottom of the screen as well. And now we are done, so we click on Forecaster and write keywords to save what we have selected. You can now close the window. You see now that this information that we just selected from the visualizer has been filled up in this uh, field that was previously empty. Uh, and now we are done and we can click on save to uh, save the our selections and click on exit. You can now see that we have this new connection between prepare and smart because the program understands that we need to reuse the same ligand as we had in the PDB structure as input ligand since we're doing a safe docking uh, calculation. So let's click on uh, smart and see if all the parameters are okay there. Seems all good, so we can click on save and exit. Now we can go on into process. Here we can leave most uh, things are def by default, just check that all the names are correct and double check that we are docking into a rigid protein. Then click on save and exit. And so the last part is fitted. So here we will just double check that we have selected rigid from for the protein flexibility mode. Uh, then click on reversible inhibitor uh, and for the covalent docking you have three choices you can force uh, non-covalent only covalent or let the program decide which is the option that we're gonna go for in this tutorial so if you choose uh, this option then you need to identify the residue uh, that will covalently bind to your ligand if the program chooses so which is called the reactive residue and you also have a neighboring basic residue which will take on the proton as it transfers. Uh, this is the second thing that we need to identify. For this we click on load PDB structure. So here again we see the protein ligand complex. I'm just going to zoom in 
to better see which atoms are bound. So here we see the sulfur and the carbon uh, that are linked. Therefore, we need to select our cysteine as the reactive uh, residue. So we click on sulfur. Then go into forecaster and click covalent residue. Uh, and now we need to identify which residue takes on the proton and in this case it's this uh, histidine that is nearby. So we're going to click on the nitrogen of the histidine. Then go again into forecaster and click on adjacent basic residue. So now you see this information has been registered and we can see it at the bottom of the screen. Uh, so we can go into Forecaster and write keywords to save uh, our selection. Then click on Close. Now we see that these two fields have been filled up with the information that we have selected in the visualizer and the rest of the parameters can be left as default. Notice that the oxyanion hole uh, parameter has been set to no. Uh, this is a parameter that is required for different types of proteins but in our case we don't have to worry about this um, and everything else is fine so we click on save and exit now that we have gone through all of these parameters we are ready to run the workflow Once the calculation is over, we are ready to see the results. For this, you can click on the magnifying glass and then go into open poses and select one of the SDF files. This will open a 3D representation of the docked uh, ligand. Uh, and on the bottom panel, you can select uh, which parts of the system to view. So if you want the protein in there as well. You just have to check mark that part and we can see that the program has decided to covalently bind the cysteine to our ligand just like in the original file. Now if you want to see a more of a tabulated uh, numerical results then you can click on read numerical results and select one of the text files which will open um, more of a tabulated way to see the results uh, and here we can see that the RMSD with the initial structure is 1.2 which is pretty good. So with this we will end the tutorial and now you're ready to run your own covalent docking.